Full costing concepts, learning quiz. Got two sets of questions. The first on general concepts, and the second set uh, on the impact on profits between uh, variable costing and full costing. So start with general concepts. Explain how to work out first the overhead absorption rate using number of units of production as the basis, and secondly the full cost or total absorption cost per unit. So the overhead absorption rate is equal to the total manufacturing overheads divided by planned production over the period in units. And the full cost per unit is direct variable cost per unit plus the overhead absorption rate. What is the relationship between the matching principle and the full costing? So let's start with the matching principle. So the matching principle is that all costs required to generate a product should be recognised in the same period in which the revenue from the sale of the product is recognised. And full costing takes manufacturing overheads that are required for the production of goods and transforms them from period costs to product costs that will be recognised when the goods are sold. Explain briefly the key difference in the treatment of head office overheads reported in other expenses with those costs included in product costs and uh, the key difference in the treatment of manufacturing overheads between variable and full costing. So head office expenses reported in other expenses recognised on a period basis. Product costs are recognised when a sale is made and the revenue from the sale is taken through the income statement. And the difference between variable and full costing, in variable costing manufacturing overheads are treated as a period cost in full costing as product costs. Explain briefly what the following are and their accounting treatment. An over recovery of overheads and an under recovery of overheads. So an over recovery of manufacturing overheads occurs under full costing when a firm produces more units than were planned in, and used to calculate the overhead absorption rate. And under IFRS this over-recovery is reversed in the period it occurs, which has the effect of reducing cost of sales and increasing gross profit. And with under-recovery, it's the opposite. So an under-recovery occurs under full cost and when a firm produces less units than were planned and used to calculate the overhead absorption rate. And under IFRS, the under-recovery is reversed in the period it occurs, and this has the effect of increasing cost of sales, which in turn lowers gross profit for the period. And leading on from that, show how to calculate an over recovery and an under recovery. And an over recovery is the actual production in units minus the planned production in units during the period times the absorption rate per unit. And the under recovery is equal to planned production in units minus actual production in units times the absorption rate per unit. Explain how management can utilise full costing to manipulate earnings. And if we assume that management wants to inflate earnings, uh, what they can do is they can increase production above the normal planned level, and this will force a reversal of the subsequent over recovery, which will lower reported costs and artificially inflate earnings. And we'll move on to some profit problems. The company always produces the same number of units as it used to work out the absorption rate. So actual production equals planned production. The first problem, the firm sells more units than it produced one year. Which method will give the higher profit for the year, variable or full costing? And explain the answer. And the answer is that variable costing will give the higher profit for the year. And, and the reason for that is that under variable costing, only the overheads for the year will, will be taken through the income statement. Under full costing, um, th those units that are sold which are above the planned level uh, will, be, will be overheads from earlier periods and reflected in the inventory costs. And uh, same actual production equals planned production. This time the firm sells fewer units than are produced in another year. Which method will get the higher profit for the year now, variable or full costing? And variable costing will give the lower profit for the year. 
So under variable cost, all of the overheads for this year will be taken for the income statement. Um, under full costing, some of the overheads will be reflected in the inventory costs um, and taken across to the next period, so that we're deferred. Different scenario, a company always sells the same number of units as it used to work out the absorption rate, so actual sales equals planned production. The firm produced more units than it planned one year. Which method will give the higher profit for the year, variable or full costing, and explain. And full costing will give the higher profit for the year. The way we can show that is to start off with uh, looking at the cost under variable costing. So we've got the variable components, the number of units sold, times variable cost per unit, uh, plus the period overheads. And if we compare that with the cost under full costing, um, we've got the variable component, which is the same number sold times variable cost per unit. We've then got the period overheads because the number sold is equal to the planned production level. Um, and but in addition to that, we, we've got a, a reversal of the over recovery, which will lower costs and increase profit for the year. And again, a company always sells the same number of units as it used to work out the absorption rate. So actual sales equals planned. This time the firm produced fewer units than it sold in another year. Which method will give the higher profit for the year now? Variable or full costing? Explain. And this time variable cost, cost it will give the higher profit for the year. We'll use the same reasoning. Uh, so cost under variable cost, we've got the variable component, number sold times variable cost per unit, uh, plus the period of overheads um, under full costing. We've got the variable part, which is the same as under uh, uh, under variable costing, um, plus the period overheads because the number sold is equal to the planned production level. And this time we've got a, a plus the reversal of the under recovery, which will increase cost and, and lower profits. And those are the conceptual questions that we looked at. And these are the profit related questions that we finished with.